Hello, my name is Maciej, and today I would like to raise a problem related to home page deprecation. What is it and what does it involve? With the introduction of the new innovations to the ServiceNow platform, the home page functionality will be deprecated in March 2023 with the new user release. What does it mean? It will not be possible to create new or old home pages, and the functionality will not be supported and developed by ServiceNow. So in this video, uh, we will directly handle with uh, migration home pages to, to dashboards and potential problems behind it. The first thing to do is install the plugin. To do this, go to the plugins module, which is available from the navigator level and search for the phrase help tool. Event plugin should be visible and to install it, press the install button. Installation shouldn't take long. As you can see, I already have the plugin installed, so we can go directly to the tool. Type help tool in the navigator and click uh, on the overview module. Only users with the admin or dashboard admin role will have access to the tool. We need to perform two additional actions before starting the migration. The first one is setting the given property to true. Might be that this property is not visible from, from the list view, and then we will have to create it manually. This property disables the creation of new home pages and sets the default start page or landing page to dashboards. If property is set, then we need to activate uh, and run the populate home page migration status table flow. This flow enables you to address homepage retirement and conversion. Note that the flow has a limit of 1000 homepages per execution. First, we need to press the activate button and then test to start the flow. As you can see, the default trigger is daily at 11 p.m. At this moment, you can close the test flow window and return to the overview tab. Tab is now populated with the number of home pages not deprecated. At the moment, we have the home page migration status table populated. So let's go to it. This table lists the home pages on your instance that are not linked with the dashboard. So let's open an example record and look at the form. Home page shows the title of the home page with link to its form. Owner, this field is populated with the name of the owner if the Home page is personal, otherwise the field will be empty. Next, dashboard is populated if there is dashboard version of the home page. If it comes to assignment group, this field is populated when one or more home pages are assigned to a group to address in the tool. Next, assigned to is populated when one or more home pages are assigned to a single user. Then we have state. There are two possible options: open if the admin hasn't addressed the home page and closed complete if the homepage is converted, retired, or restored. Decision, which can be converted, retired, or restored, as I mentioned above. Now let's try to migrate the homepage to dashboard. For this purpose, use the convert button. The convert flow triggers the script to create a new separate dashboard and move the permissions can read and can write to the dashboard permission. Now we can go to the overview tab and check if the conversion was successful. As you can see, we have one converted homepage. We will look at this record and go to the homepage first. Retire flow automatically retires personal homepages and sets the selectable fits to false and assigns the read and write permissions to the admin user. Let's check how to this homepage looks like. Okay. Then let's go to the newly created dashboard and check if it has been converted correctly. It looks like the action was successful. We have uh, also uh, the option to perform the conversion operation from the level of the homepage migration status table list view. 
we can do this by selecting the records we are interested in and then uh, clicking on the actions on selected rows. As you can see, the whole process is very easy and user-friendly. That tool has even more interesting possibilities, which are described in a very simple way on the service now docs. At this moment, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was useful to you. Goodbye.